Hey, it's Eric. I uh, wanted to give you a real quick overview of what's going on inside the new effect strip mixer and the floating mixer. Uh, a lot has changed now. As you see, there's two new devices, or instead of one mixer device, there's the effect strip mixer, which is the one for in window, and it still does, you know, through these little up down arrows, you can still like move your way around and see what's what. And uh, the old modes are still there. Of course, the, the normal mixer kind of thing. And all that solo record, all that great stuff. Um, but there's also, let's see, float over things. You see the full names. That's kind of fun. But okay, you get, and of course, you float over the uh, uh, send names. You can see what they are. So that's kind of a cool thing. Now, the effects strip mixer. This part's the, the cool part. Okay, as I float over these, you're seeing the values for the device that I'm currently looking at. And if I click here, you see this is the name of the device and click on that and select a device. And here there's just one. So I just see that one there. Oh, let me choose Boombox Drums. All right, see that? All right. Still see the name of the track because that's the important part. It's the name of the track goes away. So, um, but you can always select another device. Now the first, the way this works, the button at the bottom is the enable, disable. So I can enable and disable devices here. That's always enable and disable. And then automatically you get the first eight parameters. Um, but obviously you might have more than eight parameters. So the thing to do there is this little drop down, these little arrows down here, that lets you select which other, uh, well, which of the parameters are assigned to each of the knobs. So say you have something like, Boombox drums. Well, that's got eight. Uh, okay, let's do an example here. I will go to, let's see, audio effects, and I will grab uh, EQ3, and I will throw that on my device here somewhere. Oh, it's got all this stuff anyway. There. Okay. Now, it only shows you the devices that are at the root level, and that's sort of, you know, to make things easy um you know that's the way it is okay so here's eq3 and by default i've gain high gain mid gain low frequency low frequency high low on off all that kind of thing so high high on mid mid on etc etc frequency low frequency high um and that's how i assign them they remember their assignments by the way so if, if you assign them a certain way um they will remember that across tracks and things so you know, then I can EQ it, and I can choose a different device, and do that, and you know, come over here and EQ this, do that, whatever. So it's like having more traditional mixer where you've got you know an effect strip or a channel strip. Um, so that's that's kind of what's going on here. And similarly, um, you get the same kind of deal over here in the new floating mixer. Now the floating mixer has just a single thing. Um, I decided that um, just to keep things simple inside of Max for Live, it was better to have uh, to separate them out. So, okay, here's the mixer. I click open, and you get the new mixer view. It's kind of squished a little bit at the moment, but check this out. Ready? Okay, I stretch it, and it works really nicely now, right? So I can turn myself up and down, and you get that same channel view, right? Now there's some minimums here, so I can do it like this, right? I can even do crazy things like say, oh, I want to have two of those open. So I'll go over here, back to my user library, and I will grab a, another mixer view. Open that bigger. There we go. There. And do, do, do. takes a second, but. Oh my god, there we go. You can open yet another one. Oops, it pops over there. There we go. So you can even do crazy things like have, you know, multiples. Uh, this one has, you know, some devices and you can assign devices in here. Like, oh, I want to look at EQ over here and I'm looking at other things over there and, you know, kind of get crazy with stacking up, you know, lots of different things you're controlling at once. And we'll stretch them out. So now I could say have, uh, you know, the EQ3s up here, if I wanted to say they were all EQ3s or something like that. And then down here could have other devices. These are all MIDI assignable, right? So you can uh, assign them. Oh, by the way, you know, let's see, live preferences. 
This is something somebody asked about. All right, uh, where is it? Uh, look and feel. I'm in the mono lake right now. I'm going to go to calcium or something, right? Close that. Everything should switch. Yep, there we go. So everything switches to calcium. Yay. Okay, we follow the desktop colors. Uh, okay, so we can have different devices. Um, you have this in front thing. Okay, now it's normal. So if I click on that device, it goes away. I click on that. It's in front. So now it always stays in front. All right. Uh, I still have my size kind of things. So I can, you know, kind of shortcut that. Uh, if I add sends, these will add sends um, and dynamically grow. Whoops. Oh, here's a really cool thing. Let me show you this. Uh, I didn't mean to select all that. All right. Uh, I'm kind of moving real quick now. All right. So as I select devices down here, I move from track to track, you'll see that they are up there. So if I want to, you know, there's my router and I click there. And there's, you know, something will be going on over here. Oh, I don't have the macros open. There you go. The macros are open. Click on that one. You'll see. Da, 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 there it is. And so on. So there's a real quick view. Uh, sorry, rather than demonstrate, demonstrate any audio, but um, you get the idea. I wanted to show it to you real quick. So it's the original mixer view, floating mixer with all sorts of new features. Uh, I have decided to break things apart. So now you can buy the mixer. If you just wanted to buy the mixer and the in-window mixer by themselves without the session viewer, you can get it for only $6 or more if you want to spend more. Or you can buy the mixer view, the session view, and you get the bonus device view. And they've all been updated uh, with little tweaks here and there. Uh, you can get them all for only a total of $12. So that's like buying two and getting one free. Um, or you can buy individual, you know, just the mixer view for six bucks, which includes both of those, the in window and the out of window. And or the session view, you can get that for six bucks by itself as well, or $12 for all of them. And go to www.erasermice.com and hopefully we'll be adding even more devices in the future. So thanks and take care. Bye.